Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about supercars and sport cars that showed up to the December edition of Caffeine and Octane here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're starting off with the R35 Nissan GTR. I believe this to be the second iteration of this platform based on the fog lights. This car that has the black and yellow theme going on it. Uh, there are a lot of customizations on the dash and on the interior and it looks as if this owner has done some performance mods to his car as well we're going to check out this maserati gran turismo mc very sleek car and then behind it we have this ferrari spider with a black and white theme going on with it i do like the way the car looks not too sure i'm a fan of this badging here i prefer the original prancing horse badge then we're checking out this Aston Martin DB11 Superleggera. This car is sleek, sexy, and very gentlemanly. Look at the lines on this car. Check out the rear view mirror, 24 inch wheels. Look at the lines. It is just beautiful. Then moving on, I threw this Toyota Crown in because Toyota is going to be bringing this car to the US in the form of an SUV. This particular car here may have done, you know, service in Japan, but the one they would be selling here would be an SUV. I do love the A80 Toyota Supra. This car definitely has some performance mods going on under the hood. This is my first time seeing a Lucid Air. I believe this thing has over a thousand horsepower and it's an all electric EV meant to compete against all of the uh, Tesla Model S products, the Plaid, etc. Next, we're gonna just look at this Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 Galenda wagon. And then we are going to look at this Rolls-Royce Cullinan, the Spirit of Ecstasy badge, the grill, all of the exterior appointments on this car are all black. There's no chrome. And then on the interior, you have like an oxblood color. If you had to choose between buying a house or buying a Cullinan, I say buy the Cullinan, better value for money. Then we're gonna check out this Maserati MC20 mid-engine supercar from Maserati with a twin turbo V6 engine putting out, I think, a little over 600 horsepower. We have a couple of uh, Ferraris here as well. We have a Porsche GT2 RS, Porsche 911 Spider, Porsche GT3, Lamborghini Huracans. I love the wrap on that one with the black and white thing going. And then we have a Lamborghini Gallardo. Now as we make our way through this crowd of folks around the Gallardo, we're going to check out this olive green wrapped Maserati Gran Turismo. I'm not sure what's going on in the door jam. That is probably a wrap or some paint effect going on. I do love the interior of the Maseratis, very premium interior leather surfaces, etc. The infotainment, not so much, but everything else is pretty good. This Maserati Gran Turismo trim is a sport. Then we have an A90 Supra that's wrapped. Another thing we had at the show in terms of sport cars were these all new 2023 Nissan Zs. And these cars had modifications done to them by a local company called Z1 Motorsports. If you look at the color of the wheels on these cars, they all had aftermarket wheels. The white one, I believe, was tuned and modded to make around 600 horsepower to the wheel. And then the black one also had some modifications as well. The white and the black ones were manual. The yellow was uh, automatic. We're checking out some Honda Civic Type R's. And then we're gonna end by checking out this Nissan GTR, Godzilla himself. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.